Good afternoon. I'm gonna get straight to the point since I don't have much time left. In fact, only one and a half hours before it gets dark. And to get to the Buak where I plan to spend the night, I've got about 200 meters of climbing to do. So, better pick up the pace. <laughs> The route goes up here and it's 600 meters high in total, but the rest is gonna have to wait for tomorrow. Alright, let's gear up. The sun is just about to go down. So the reason I couldn't start any earlier is because there was a rainstorm passing by just an hour ago. So I had to wait it out in the car. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna still do it, but since it didn't last long, I decided to go for it. Looks like the climbing starts here. Oops. Not very sturdy. There we go. First hard part done. Now some easy terrain. Okay, I'm just below the next hard part and uh, not really feeling it. <laughs> so that's why I'm not gonna free solo it. I'm rather gonna try to find a bypass a bit further down and we'll see how it goes. It's always better to listen to your gut and make the right choice. And that's what I had in mind. I'm not sure if I can make it up to the Buak. But I'm gonna give it a try. Have a rope with me so I can use those trees for anchors and rappel back down if it doesn't go my way. I think this might actually work. I'm not gonna get too excited because 
God knows what's up there. Okay, let's see where I'm at. <laughs> Not even halfway up. Ouch. The grass is solid enough, can hold almost as much as snow. And Certainly more than those slippery rocks. <laughs> All right, looking at the maps, the terrain should get a bit less steep here. But first, I have to battle through all of these bushes. Whew, quite a drop down there. Don't want to slip here. Ouch. Oh, for fuck's sake. This just doesn't end. Ah. Well, at least the view is nice. I think I actually made it. Would you look at that? After a lot of back and forth, I've came to the conclusion that I'm gonna turn around and repel back in the valley. And that's for two main reasons. Reason number one is I already had a lot of trouble getting up here, so I really don't feel like continuing with this climb tomorrow. And the second reason is there's a ton of mice poop everywhere. As you can see, it's all over the floor. And even worse, it's up here on the beds too. That's why I probably wouldn't be able to get much sleep anyway, so that would make it even more dangerous to continue tomorrow. I you know I've pushed through a lot, but sometimes you just have to admit defeat. And that's why I got the rope with me anyway. My headlamp is about to die, but good thing I always bring a spare one. Well, getting up was the easy part. Descending is always harder.
Oh man. <laughs> Why did I even bother getting up here through all these bushes? I'm starting to feel the hunger, so I'm gonna have myself a quick snack break. I haven't eaten anything in like six hours, so I definitely hit the spot. Mm. <laughs> Hope this little spruce tree holds. Now even this headlamp is running out of juice, but luckily I've got an extra battery. <laughs> uh, surprisingly I managed to get down into the collar without a single rappel. But I'm gonna have to pull out the rope for this last part. I just need to find the anchor. <laughs> Bingo! There it is. It's a very short rappel, so not even gonna bother putting on a harness. Just gonna do it the old school way. That's why I always bring a rope whenever I'm climbing an unfamiliar route or I'm not sure about the snow conditions. Just couldn't imagine going without it. Not even sure where to begin. First the rainstorm ruined my enthusiasm, then one thing led to another and eventually everything went to hell. <laughs> but at the end of the day I think I've made the right choice to turn around and definitely learn a new lesson and gather some more experience. So that's the most important part about this whole situation. Well, hope you enjoyed it a bit more than I did and see you in the next one.